Hi guys, Hobby Horse Ralph here. Uh, thank you for joining me on this video. And uh, I wanted to show you my brand new Hummingbird Piranha Max 40i fish finder. I just installed it on my brand new 2021 E16 Bayliner. And uh, not too many videos I've seen specifically on installing it on a Bayliner, but the ones I have seen they seem to basically drill a hole on this side to put the fish finder in. Again, since this is a brand new boat, I didn't want to make any holes. So what I ended up doing was using the cup holder. If you're familiar with the Bayliner boat, that's a cup holder uh, location. And all I did was drill a hole, the bottom of the cup holder, run the cables through it, and I connected them directly to my fuse box. Um, and of course the transducer cable, what I did, uh, it runs through that sidewall panel underneath all the way to the back and then right through that boot and then to the, of course, to the back of the hole, bottom of the hole. What I did to get it through the boot is I just got a, uh, a hanger, straightened it out and tape the cable to it, and then I fed it right through the boot. And then, as I said, ran it all the way through the sidewall. And on the cup holder itself, what I did is, obviously the cup holder was deeper than the base of the fish finder, which is pretty sturdy as you can see, it doesn't move. And so what I did is I cut a piece of plywood, the same diameter as the cup holder, painted it black, drilled a hole in it through the middle, ran the cables through there, set the piece of, and I screwed the base onto the plywood, set it in there, and it is really snug. In fact, I had to tap it with a rubber mallet a little bit to get it to go in. So it's not going anywhere. And then of course, as I said, the cables uh, connected there, and the power cable, I ran it straight to the uh, fuse box, which is behind the dash area. And yeah, I really like it. I think it looks really good there. I can see it really easily, uh, and I think it's going to work out really well. I only powered it on once just to try it, but as you can see, everything seems to be working. Looks good. Of course, I'm not in the water now, so it's, it's going to give me. That's not going to give me any readings yet, but um, it seems to be working fine. Can't wait to uh, try it out, and when I do, I'll do a video on that, and I can show you. The transducer uh, cable. If I can get, can excuse my boat. It's pretty dirty from where I've been coming in and out for the last three days, uh, doing different things to install. For example, the transducer. Uh, you have to set it and then wait 18 hours. I didn't want to drill into my hull since it's, it is a brand new boat. So what I did is I bought this stern pad. Um, and uh, I bought the larger one. They did have a smaller one, but since this is a brand new boat and a brand new fish finder, I was and I was all in on the boat. Um, basically, been saving money for five years to buy this boat, so I didn't get the fish finder when I bought it, and I paid you know less than 150 for it. But I may want to upgrade to something better later on, maybe a 3D model. And so I went ahead and got the bigger pad now so that I can always just pop this off and put a new one on there, a new transducer, and I'll be good to go. But what I did is, obviously, I have it level with the bottom to make sure that the water flows through nicely, have it level perpendicular as well, and I put a clip to hold the cable there in place, and then just a couple of tie wires to hold it there, and then, of course, it goes through the drain hole and into that boot that I was telling you. And again, all I did was straighten out a coat hanger and tie the cable to the hanger, or tape it and then I fed it through went through the inside of the boat and I was able to get it no problem so that's pretty much my setup on my bay liner love it once I get it out on the water I will do another video on how it works but I believe it's going to be just fine uh, on a scale of one to four difficulty this was probably a two to 2.4 uh, only because of the electrical part inside I just wasn't too sure. Uh, I'm not an, an electrical guy, but I was able to do it no problem. So 
uh, just go to your local auto parts store and, and find the clips and the fuse that you need. You'll be good to go. Anyway, hope you liked this video. If you have any questions, let me know. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And we'll see you on the next project. Thanks.